Mac devices such as MacBook Pro have always been the top choice for creators or for productivity usage without a doubt. But if you're looking for something alternative, then take a look at the newer version of Dell XPS 15, which is currently the best option available for any creative workflow or productivity in general. But can it actually outperform the new MacBook Pro 14? Let's find out. Looking for an animation studio that can turn your story or idea into animated visuals? Look no further than 10 Studio. Our team of experts creates animated explainer videos that simplify complex ideas and bring your message to life. Our experience can help you tell your story in a way that engages your target audience and makes them remember it. Don't miss out on this opportunity to stand out from your competition. Visit our website to know more at www.10.studio. Now, before we go through it in detail, we do know that both these laptops feature different operating systems. Dell XPS 15 is a Windows-based laptop, while the MacBook Pro uses Apple's own Mac OS. This is the first and foremost difference that separates these laptops. Now let's jump to other major differences. The latest version of Dell XPS 15 is powered by 14 cores and 20 threads 13 again Intel Core i7 processor with a base clock speed of 5 GHz. The 14 cores here are divided in two, six for performance and eight for efficiency cores. You will also find the i9 variant of this laptop just in case you're looking for higher performance. But for this video, we're taking the i7 variant, which seems like a perfect match against the MacBook Pro. And just like Apple's own operating system, this 14-inch MacBook Pro uses its own custom-made M2 Pro processor. This is a 12 cores and 12 threads processor. Among them, eight are performance cores and four of them efficiency. Also, the integrated Apple M2 Pro GPU with 19 cores is much more powerful compared to Intel's Iris XE graphics. But let's not forget about the dedicated GPU of the new Dell XPS 15, which is Nvidia's RTX 4070. So when it comes to graphical performance, it definitely has the upper hand. As for the display, there are two options available for the new XPS 15 laptop. One comes with a 15.6-inch IPS panel featuring 1920 by 1200 resolution and 500 nits of brightness. The other one is the OLED panel with a resolution of 3456 by 2160 and 400 nits of brightness. Although this OLED panel seems like a great choice, it will drain power from your battery a lot, and you are also getting 100 units of less brightness. In comparison, the 14-inch MacBook Pro comes with a liquid Retina XDR display featuring comparatively higher 3024 by 1964 resolution and 500 nits of brightness. It looks absolutely fantastic, and not only that, this screen also features 112 Hz of refresh rate, while the OLED panel on the XPS 15 has only 60 Hz. As for the connectivity, both these laptops include up to three Gen 4 Type-C ports, Thunderbolt 4, a 3.5mm audio jack, and an SD card slot. But the XPS 15 does lack the HDMI port, whereas the MacBook Pro 14 has a dedicated HDMI 2.1 connection. Now, if we look at the price tag, the new Dell XPS 15 with 13 Gen i7 processor, RTX 4070, and an OLED panel costs $2,649. On the other hand, the 14-inch M2 Mac Pro with 17-core GPU costs $499. But if you want to have a pre-installed software such as Final Cut Pro, then it will cost you more, at around $2,800. Considering all of this, the new Dell XPS 15 is definitely capable of delivering a top-tier smooth workflow experience. But when it comes to performance, the power of MacBook Pro's M2 Pro processor is still unmatched. So this was the comparison between the latest new Dell XPS 15 and the MacBook Pro. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and comment down below which one would you go with. Subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.